In this video, I'm going to go over how to use cash basis for sales tax in Odoo. So we'll go into the accounting app. We're going to go to configuration settings and scroll all the way down until we see cash basis. Actually, it's up here somewhere right here. Allow, allows us to configure cash basis taxes. We're going to set the base tax receipts account, which is going to be your generic tax receipts account, whichever account you use. Um, in the Odoo standard chart of accounts, it would be the tax receipt account. And then it creates a custom journal for you, which is called uh, Cash Basis Taxes. From there, what we're going to do is go to Configurations Taxes, and we're going to create a new tax. You can edit an existing one if you need to, but I'm just going to create a new one for example purposes. So let's say this is 7% tax. I'll set the tax amount. We'll set all this up as normal. So we'll set this to our tax receipt account as well. So our tax receipt account is going to be the end account that holds all of our taxes that we need to pay. Under advanced options, we're going to set the tax eligibility to be based on payment. And then we're going to set a cash basis transition account. Now there's not one here by default, so we'll just create one. So let me save that for now. And then we'll go into our chart of accounts. Create a new chart of account, and it's going to be a tax or a temporary tax account. So we'll just make it a current liability temp tax account, and we'll set it to current liability and we'll save. And let's go back to that tax that we created under advanced options again. We'll set the based on payment and we'll set that temp tax account. Now what this does is allows us to post to this temp tax account and it won't be considered on our tax report until we register payment on our invoice. So now let's go to our sales app. We'll create a new product with that tax. Just to make this very complete, we'll say product one, we'll give it a tax of that 7%. And then we'll go ahead and sell this product. We'll save confirm, and we'll create our invoice. Now, typically, once we confirm this invoice, um, we will be responsible for this tax um, on an accrual basis. But as you can see here, we're hitting that temporary tax account for now. So now let's go back to our accounting app. We'll go to our balance sheet, and you'll see that under current liabilities, we have that temp tax account. And we also uh, can go to our tax report, and we'll see for the month of June, so we're in June, there are no current transactions that um, can be posted into our tax paid or payable account in order to pay them later on to um, whatever financial institute we need to pay our taxes to. So instead, what happens under the cash basis is in invoices, once we register our payment, um, then this is going to create a new smart button, uh, which links to our cash basis taxes. So I'll register a payment here. And now since I registered that payment, we create a new entry that's going to offset our temp tax and enter this into our tax receipt account. So now under our tax report, we'll see that 7% for one, 7% uh, of that $100. So $7 is now owed for the month of June. And now if I repeat this process, I'll just duplicate this, confirm, create an invoice. I'll confirm this invoice, but I won't register payment. And let's say it's the end of June now, I wanna close out our taxes. We would go to our tax report and we'll create the closing entry. As you can see, we're going to move our 7%. So that's $7 from the original amount into our tax payable. So this is the amount that we um, should pay the government for that month of June, as opposed to um, our posted, but non or payments that are not registered yet. So again, in, ta in cash basis, taxes, we are not taking into consideration any invoices that are posted, but not paid in accrual basis, which is the default method used by most most states, we would be responsible for taxes on an accrual basis.